Welcome back. It is Sunday, May 21st in the MLB. Our three favorite picks are on the way. I'm Austin. Logan's sitting right to my left. But let's recap yesterday real quick. Two and two day. Losing a little bit of juice. Nothing much you can do there. We got the Rockies on the team total over three and a half. They get it done. I know it was a little sweaty, although it shouldn't have been as sweaty, but they got it done. Our no, no one first inning with the wave, the flag. And then our two losers, we had Diamondbacks plus a half in the first five. Naturally, they win it outright. That's just how <laughs> that's if Logan loses the first five, that's normally how it goes. And then we had the A's plus three and a half Royals plus two and a half kind of parlay, which did not get it done. But either way, two and two day, we 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 aren't going to complain about it two and two day. We'll get back to the winning column hopefully today. Now we have talked about this offer on Betfred before, available in Maryland, Ohio, Arizona, and Iowa. Last time I said Indiana, that was a mistake. It's in Iowa. But new users that sign up using our top link in the description or one of the links in those states, you can get $111 in bonus bets when you wager $50 dollars. So plus you get up to a thousand dollars back over five weeks. So take advantage of that. You can see that offer down at the top of the description. But Without further ado, let's dive into our favorite place. Logan's coming on here, and I swear, if he gives out an athletics play, you might this might be the last thing you see. So let's see what he gets, what he's got for you guys. <laughs> no, I'm not picking the A's. It takes a really bold person to pick the A's uh, on this underdog Sunday. But actually, I, for my play, you know, yesterday I gave out a few L's. I'm bouncing back today. I'm getting in the win column. And where are we going? We're going to the Battle of the Birds once again. And I'm taking the Blue Jays. Minus one and a half on the run line, plus one ten odds on Fanduel's current, or, or uh, plus one ten on Barstool is currently your best value in this one. Now, normally my philosophy on Sundays and my philosophy all, all throughout baseball is to pick the underdogs on Sundays, but the line in this one is just so indicative of a Blue Jays win and a sort of convincing Blue Jays win that I actually do feel comfortable picking the you know the Blue Jays at home. The Orioles are already a public underdog. It's no it's no mistake at all. The public loves them some Orange Birds. But I like backing teams with their backs against the wall. And this is a, such a back against the wall adverse spot for the Blue Jays because they're trying to avoid getting swept at home, which is really hard in baseball to sweep a home team or a team at home, let alone a division rival who, who you've seen a bunch. And I really do like who's going for the Blue Jays today. It's Kevin Gosman. Gosman, 2.05 ERA and a .86 whip at home. Gosman's one of those pitchers that when he's at home, I will for sure back him. He's just such a good pitcher at, at throwing strikes and getting this swing and misses. Gosman has been rounding into form of late, too. Look at his last two starts. Seven innings pitch, two earned run, 10 Ks. Six innings pitch, zero earned runs, nine Ks in his last two starts. Those numbers are, are indicative of a, of a pitcher finally rounding into form because he was you know shaky throughout the year and you know i i think osman will be able uh to sort of quiet this orange birds offense baltimore 11th in average and 11th in ops on the road they're a good offense i'm not i'm not calling them the scrubs at all but i think gosman is one of those types of pitchers that can absolutely cook them so i do like that him going for us today now who do we need to get some hits and run support for for uh against dean kramer dean kramer starts for baltimore 4.79 ERA, 1.55 whip on the road. That's a really high whip. I, I think for sure we will we'll have some run opportunities against Dean Kramer. He's a very hit, hittable pitcher, and when you watch Dean Kramer pitch, he and he, he's missing locations. Those are all extra base hits. Now every pitcher relies on the on the ball to move, you know, late break movement. But Dean Kramer more than, more than most, and when he's not getting the the pitch his pitches to move. Yeah, they're ending up in the seats. Kramer has allowed multiple home runs in 33% of his starts. I think like three out of his nine starts this, this season, multiple home runs. Missed locations. This Toronto offense just needs to turn them into extra base hits because they're they're good, right? 11th in average, 19th in OPS at home. The OPS has been slipping, which is a little bit worrisome, but the average you know, should be there. They should be on base, and they should have run opportunities against Dean Kramer. That's that's without a, a doubt. Now, lastly, where, where this game gets important, Toronto, 17th in bullpen ERA. Baltimore, third in bullpen ERA. While I would give Baltimore the, the bullpen edge, I think enough damage will be done against Kramer to hold whatever lead uh, Gosman has to work with. And I think that's where the run line cover comes in this one. So I will be taking the Blue Jays minus one and a half as my first pick. We need a winner, and I, and I feel good about this one. But Austin, give us another winner. Where are you going? You know I'm going back to the team totals. Now, I do have some sad news for the people out there. Uh, this will be our last in real life video. We'll get back to the regular editing editing for tomorrow uh, going forward. But let's dive into my favorite pick. And you guys know I love these team totals, love the over-unders. And today, if Logan didn't want to back the A's, fine, I'll, I'll do it. Because I'm taking the athletics on the team total over 2.5, minus 122 on FanDuel. Now, look, if you ever can get me a team at 2.5 runs with not a ton of juice, I'll take my chances because – scoring three runs i know it might sound, sound tough and some te teams can't do to get it done and the a's actually haven't gotten it done in both games of series so far but 
I think it, you're personally you're capable of getting that done. And there could be some errors in there. There could be some fluky things to get us three runs. But let's talk about why I actually like the Athletics because a lot of people wouldn't really want to back them here today. Now, obviously, they're super big underdogs today against the Houston Astros. Well, everyone and their mother is on a juiced Astros run line. If there's people laying a or Astros minus two and a half, and then there's a ton of people on the under in this going at eight and a half. Like I understand, no one wants the back the athletics. And while I don't really want to trust their pitchers to get it done, I'd rather not trust James Caprellian, who's projected to start in that bullpen. Sure, the Astros could cover the minus two and a half. Heck, they could cover minus 20 and a half. I don't care as long as we get three runs, which if they get blown out, there's probably a better chance of them getting that done. But let's talk about also the athletics because they're going up against Framber Valdez for the Astros. Now, I'm not going to come out here and say Valdez is a scrub. He's going to give us, you know, six earned runs. It's probably not going to happen. But if you recall his last start against the Cubs. What did I take? The Cubs team total over two and a half. They got that done like the third or fourth inning with a homer. Well, that could also happen for this A's team. While they don't have, you know, the talented bats of the world, you probably can't name a lot of athletics guys that they trot out there, but they have talented hitters that can put the ball into the bleachers. We've seen them do it before at home, and I think they can certainly do it on the road in Houston. Now, Valdez is good. I mean, he's had eight plus strikeouts and three straight strikeout lines in at seven and a half now could he get it again they're giving you plus 120 if you want to take that sure i think he certainly can get you eight k's if you want to go with it but i just think after you know going under yesterday i think they're in the last two games i think the athletics are going to come out here potentially if it went outright you don't really i now i'm not saying the aas you know plus 320 is worth some of your money but no mlb team should ever be minus 400 on the money line i don't care who you are it's just not how it's just baseball. Any team can win any given day. We've talked about that. Every even the best teams are going to lose, you know, 60 plus games. So I think the athletics are going to get some runs opportunities today. You look at Valdez allowed a home run in four of his last five starts. This is an athletic athletics team that can hit the ball into the bleachers. If you missed your location, they're going to have some hit opportunities here. When you get to the bullpen, sure, Houston's got a talented bullpen. But like I said, every bullpen is liable for some runs. And I'm just asking the Sun, it's Sunday. I'm asking the A's to get us three runs. I certainly think they're capable of getting it at minus 122. I'll take it. I probably wouldn't play that higher than like minus 135 or so. But I really do think the, a the A's got a good chance. And so I'm riding with them. I think they got a good chance. But Logan, you know what time it is. We need to get the music. Nerfy Nation's been quietly on a little bit of a streak. And hopefully we can uh, catch another one. Music now. Let's wave this flag. Cause we're cash and no one first in you you best believe we're hitting another one and you know what logan as they say if it ain't broke don't fix it because we're going back to the giants and marlins game taking the no one first inning look it's minus 120 on fando roughly about the same we took it yesterday yesterday was pretty sweat free and we're hoping Knock on wood, that is another sweat-free one. But let's talk about the two pitchers that are coming out today because we like them and I think they certainly can get it done. Now, Alex Wood is going to start for the uh, Giants, and he's not my favorite Giants pitcher just to be out there. I won't lie to you. I'd rather have Logan Webb or the other guys, but I still think he's certainly capable. He is a lefty, and I do say the Marlins are normally pretty good against lefties, but at the end of the day, you're just backing you know, a guy to, to go out there and, you know, score i mean you're just you're backing on them to get three outs i mean it's the marlins team that's 28th and first inning runs it's almost at the end of the day you're like all right fine if the marlins want to score we'll we'll lose like that but still we look at wood five and oh on no one first innings he nerfed in his last start he's only had like one or two appearances since coming back from injury but i certainly think he can get it done he can get us those first three outs who's on the other side logan yeah, I love who who is going for the Marlins today because obviously the Mar Marlins hierarchy for no run first inning pitchers is Sandy and then the rest. But I think actually Jesus Lazardo is is one of the best you know no run first inning pitchers to back. Jesus Lazardo eight and one on Nerfies this year. He needs to take us home. He needs to get us those last three outs we need. I definitely think he can. Look, the Giants tied for ninth in first inning runs. They're definitely slipping. They used to be a higher scoring first inning run team. It's taken them a while you know to to really round into form. The over under set to eight, right in that eight, eight and a half range. I think this one is, is a really good look. And you know, Nerfy Nation, let's if it if it isn't broke, don't fix it, right? We could overthink it. We could try to look at the other games, but at the end of the day, I, I do trust these two offenses. Austin, I think we're gonna fly the flags again. Yeah, I mean, it's at the end of the day, we'll, we'll, we'll trust these two guys that have cashed for the first two games of the series. Let's cash it again. So those are our three favorite picks of the day. Let's go 3-0. It feels like at least a winning day is on the horizon. I know it's been a couple, you know, 2-2, two and 1-2, two, and 2-1 two, or two and one type days. But I'm feeling a good day on the horizon coming your guys' way. Of course, we appreciate you guys as always for tuning in. We'll be back to the normal editing tomorrow with all the recaps and all that stuff a little bit higher edited. But we love you guys. Have a great Sunday. We'll see you guys back again Monday morning for some more picks. Plus, the parlay of the day will return tomorrow. Get amped up. We'll see you guys then. Peace.